So this past Sunday's episode of The Outsider, episode nine, titled Tigers and Bears, left us with a pretty big cliffhanger. Now, I reviewed and I've rewatched the episode since, and that's what kind of inspired me to make this very video, which is based on that cliffhanger, who do I think, but more importantly, who do you think will survive that cliffhanger and face off against El Cuco? Well, we're going to talk about that and much more. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot here talking about The Outsider. Now, if you all have been watching my channel for a while, you know that every single Sunday after The Outsider, I have been reviewing each and every episode thus far, and I've had such a fun time doing so. But this is a little bit of a different video. This isn't a review. This is more of a topic and a discussion about that cliffhanger, and I'm very excited to talk about who will live and who will die for the finale. But before we break it down, as you all can see on the screen now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts and also more importantly make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos but also make sure if you're watching this right now hit that thumbs up button it really helps out the channel so like this video but more importantly guys I have such a great time reviewing The Outsider but more importantly I have such a great time talking with you all in the comments below so before I give you my predictions of who will live and die let me know your predictions. Who do you think will live? Who do you think will die? How will they kill El Cuco? Can they kill El Cuco? Will they contain him? Let me know your thoughts, your theories, your comments in the comments below. Now, of course, as I have mentioned in my previous reviews, especially episode one, I haven't read the book. So if you all have read the books and you kind of know who's going to live and who's going to die, don't spoil anything for us. Now, of course, I have read some of the comments that have mentioned, hey, in the book, they did this, but in the show, they did this differently. So obviously, if, if that's the case, you can let me know your theories. But of course, if you know who's going to live and die, don't spoil it for us, guys. Keep it very uh, surprising for us for this Sunday's finale. So with that kind of housekeeping out of the way, let's get right into this topic. So again, if you haven't seen the episode, this is a spoiler discussion. So check out the episode, then check out my review, which I'll leave on the uh, screen right now, and then watch this video. So I won't break down the episode, but more importantly, let's just dive right into the discussion. So we know our heroes are at the bear cave. You know, Claude's brother, Seal, tells him about the plan which obviously El Cuco is linked into uh, uh, Claude's head and he knows what's coming. He wakes up his slave Jack and we all know Jack is a marksman, you know, was a sniper. So we lead up to the scene. They're all pulling, getting out of the car and bam, our one of our heroes, Alec, who I feel so bad for Alec because a couple episodes ago he had mentioned that he had a bad feeling about this. He didn't want to go there. He had that copper taste in the back of his mouth. So he should have just stayed with his gut, but he got popped right in the back of the head uh, by Jack's shot. So then after that, again, rewatching this episode like literally 20 minutes ago, there are seven more shots after Alex been taken out. So this, let's just talk about these players that are left on the table as far as who's going to live, who's going to die. So I'm going to already take off a couple people. Number one, Ralph. Number two, Holly. Number three, probably uh, Eunice. I don't think Eunice is going to die. So number one and two, Holly and Ralph. Again, this is a pretty big thing. If you all saw the trailer for this coming episode, this finale, you kind of get the idea that they're going to live because, number one, they both took cover. But more importantly, number two, you see a scene with them in the cave, Ralph in particular, holding a gun, as well as Holly talking to El Cuco. So I think it's pretty safe to say that they made it out of that shootout. Now, my number three person I mentioned, Eunice. Now, the reason I think Eunice is still alive is because watching the episode again in slow motion, it looks like he took cover behind a car. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, Jack can't shoot through the windshield and kill him, but I'm pretty safe to say he's going to be someone left on the board. Again, it might be some religious undertones. He's a very religious guy, so maybe he makes it out of that shootout, but I think that he's going to be a safe player. He might not be, but I think those are my top three people that's going to make it as far as in that shootout moment. Now, that leaves us with Howard, Claude, Seal, Jack, as well as another person I'm going to mention at the end here. So let's talk about Howard, Claude, and Seal. Now, they were in one car together. Now, based on that trailer, it looks like one of those cars exploded. Now, I don't know if Jack, out of those seven shots that he had remaining after he killed Alec, if he shot the engine and took out the people in the car, or if he literally popped all three of them, then shot the car, I don't know. Safe to say that Claude, 
Howard and, you know, his brother Seal are probably goners. Now, I think Claude at this point is not needed for El Cuco and his plan because he's already been caught, you know, a couple episodes ago when he went to that festival. Also, at this point in time, you know, his existence, his number one threat, El Cuco's number one threat is him, people knowing his existence. So the fact that Claude knows about it now, the fact that his brother knows about it and Howard, even though Howard's not really a believer, but again, he's aware of El Cuco. I'm pretty sure that that's Jack's to take out the main threat. So I think that those three players can definitely going to take it all you know take them off the board but also my number one person I think will definitely be a goner by those shots is our main man Andy now Andy and Holly have developed a relationship over the last few episodes in this season you know Andy likes interested in her powers I, I still believe that she has shining powers I've been saying that since day one that she's popped up on the screen not being a book reader uh, but you know I think Andy's his his kind of uh, moment to kind of show that he was going to die is when that moment before the shootout, he talks to, you know, Holly and, you know, they talk about the movie and all that stuff. And, you know, that's, that's his girl. And he kisses her. And I've seen enough movies. I've seen enough TV shows. And, and so have you all probably as well. Whenever our hero is going to battle and someone gives like a little little speech or even a kiss, and in this, particular in this moment, a kiss, it's probably a kiss of death. So I'm pretty sure Andy, unfortunately, is going to be probably my number one contender as far as out of those seven shots, he's probably going to be one of those people that's going to be taken out by Jack. Now, speaking of Jack, one of those shots could be from Jack himself. He could eventually, you know, he might kill himself. We all know that Jack tried to kill himself a couple of episodes ago, just didn't have, you know, El Cuco taking him over, so he wouldn't allow it. But maybe Jack, in the heat of the moment, turns a sniper around, takes a gun out of his pocket and shoots himself. So that could be a contender. But also... If you notice in an episode, in that moment, there's a snake kind of walking up or kind of slithering his way towards Jack. Maybe Jack gets bit by that snake and shoots the snake and, you know, maybe the venom gets to him a little bit quicker and, you know, he's taken out that way. Or maybe Jack shoots the snake before it actually is able to bite him. So those are some other people that might be uh, those shots or be, uh, you know, intended for, which is one being Jack and another one being that snake. So there you have it, guys. Again, I think we can go ahead and put... Um, you know, the safe button on Holly and Ralph. And also, like I said, I think Giannis or Eunice uh, put himself in a position where he's kind of in cover. But unfortunately, I do think Claude, Seal, Howard, and Andy are going to be goners based on, uh, you know, the stuff that I've kind of broken down in this uh, video here. So let me know in the comments who you all think is going to die next week, who you think is going to survive. Again, no spoilers for the book readers, but let me know your thoughts on that, as well as who do you think, what will happen to El Cuco? You know, will they kill him? Will they be able to kill him? You know, will they contain him? Is there another El Cuco in Cherokee now? Let's talk about that in the comments below. Something I also want to bring up, like I said, this is a new kind of video for me, for uh, the, the outsider, but I also was thinking about doing my very first YouTube live. So after Sunday's episode, I'm going to review it obviously on Sunday, but also want to have more discussions about the episode. So if you guys would be interested, let me know in the comments if you would want me to do a YouTube live talking about the finale more in depth, um, you know, on a, either a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night, let me know in the comments. And then by Sunday's review, I'll know based on your comments if you guys want me to do that type of video, uh, which is a live after after the premiere or after the season finale, either on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday, breaking it all down on a YouTube live. So let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching this review. Again, check out my reviews that I've done for The uh, Outsider so far. Check out all my other content on my channel. Again, if you stuck around to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts below, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and follow me on all my social media accounts. Thank you guys again for watching this video, and I'll see you on Sunday for The Outsider's finale.